This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seemed just a few steps ahead. Welcome back, fellow witchers, and I, I can't even talk, I just want to keep playing. In the last episode, we arrived in White Orchard, are in the tavern, and I need to ask the travelers about Yennefer, where she is, if they've seen them. I'm looking for someone. And we seek some peace and quiet. Out of my face, freak. For your breath sours my beer. Okay, options marked with the Axie symbol will make use of the Axie sign. This sign influences people's minds, causing them to act according to your will. Those are not the druids you're looking for. <laughs> to charm more stubborn individuals who would otherwise resist during conversations, invest in the delusion ability in the character panel. Character panel. Just want to talk. You deaf, Stray. No one here will talk <coughs> to you. If it's company you seek, stick that mangy snout of yours in a trough with the pigs. <laughs> Show that shit-eater, Micah. Red woman dressed in black and white. Seen her? Talk. Folks say the lady rode through the village a few days back. Galloping so fast she knocked Radabor into a ditch. Which way did she go? Dunno. Lots of tracks leading off the main road. Could have gone anywhere. Oi, people! The freak's taken Micah's mind! Uh-huh. And I'll take your tongue if you don't shut up. Well, at least we know where we have to go. Kinda. More. There are four factions. Four what? Factions, teams, Ooh. suits, similar to clubs and spades, except I each see suit has its Gwent. own face cards. There are also special cards. I see Gwent. Do I have a quick save button? Let me control settings, key bindings. I know I have to collect Gwent cards, but I am terrible at card games in any way, shape, or form, so. Nah. I am going to cheat as much as I have to to collect all my Gwent cards. I'll just press F5, I don't know. Yep, that's good. What a waste of time! <coughs> the Earth shall revolve around the Sun before you comprehend these rules. <laughs> Got a minute? Why not? Aldert Git, Assistant Professor in Contemporary History at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia, Witcher, with tenure. I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not! Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. A... a what? Horsewoman of war? What's that about? Folks say an omen. A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her, armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. Yeah. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? Sounds no like facts interest me, not fairy tales. Have I just messed with the sound? Oh. Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I've a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. For a quick explanation, I just uh, drank a sip of coffee and might have hit my headphones, my <clears throat> volume switch on my headphone with my mug or something, I don't know. 
Sorry for all the interruption. Go back to your books while you still can. I think true reports about war are way more important than glorification from scholars who never seen actual combat and conflict and all that gruesome sh shit. <clears throat> Interesting. We need somebody to describe war, what it's really like. Not colorful banners and generals making moving speeches, but rape, violence and thoughtless cruelty. Ah, I see you lack the polish of the academy. Rape and cruelty are details of no import to the war's course. Trinkets on the garment of conflict, one might say. Hmm. Tell that to the people whose houses burned down. Oh, Geralt, I, I hear you, bro. <laughs> war reached Novigrad yet? Nope. But it's only a matter of time. <coughs> Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other. Drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Mm -hmm. The scholars especially. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. I see, I won't get any information about you. Gotta go. You. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. Alright, I will regret this, but uh, let's play Gwent. Hmm. Why not? Splendid! Here's how it's done. Do you want to begin with the Gwent tutorial? Yes, I have to go through the tutorial again. Again. Welcome to Gwent. Gwent is an ancient dwarven card game that simulates the clash of two armies in battle. The players are generals and the cards are their forces. Ah, oh, god damn it. Sometimes I hate my completionist uh, style of playing. Hmm. To, be to begin, you draw 10 cards. This will be your hand for the rest of the match. You will not draw any more cards, so use these wisely. <coughs> unit card strength. This is a unit card. The number of uh, the, the number in the upper left corner indicates its strength. When placed on the battlefield, this value is added to the total strength of the player who placed it. Okay, unit card combat row. This is the unit's combat row icon. This icon indicates the row of the battlefield where the card can be played. Close combat, range combat and siege combat. Okay. Unit card special abilities. Some unit cards have special abilities. This Kedwini Siege Expert. Kedwini Siege Expert special ability. <laughs> That's a mouthful. It's called Moral Boost, which grants plus one strength to all units in the same row. Where does it? Where is it written? Do I have to memorize all of them, or do I have? Do I hover? Oh yeah, moral boost. It's up. Is it? Yeah. Weather cards are a type of special card. They reduce all uh, the strength of all cards of a given type on the battlefield, including your own. Choose a card to redraw. Redraw. At the start of each game, you can select up to two cards to this card and redraw. But let's skip that for now and go straight to playing. Okay, let's skip important stuff. That's all. That's cool. Here's the battlefield. This is your side. That's your opponent's side, obviously. <coughs> During each turn, a player may place one card on the battlefield or pass. Why is my ear itching? <laughs> Each deck has a leader. The leader grants you a special ability which can be used only once during a battle. Trigger the special ability at any point by pressing X. Where is it written? No, not important. Press enter to select the card from your hand. Press enter again to place it on the battlefield. Okay, just, let's try it. Can I 
when I click, do I play it or do I get to see it? Rodanian foot soldier. Nothing special about it. Uh, no Q is forfeit game, that's not what I want. Cancel. Plus Y, it's, it's written down here what the special ability is. Okay. You are just a ranged. Kira Metz. No. Memories. Let's start with a close combat card. I think it's... Okay. The number on the left uh, by your icon shows the current total strength of your units. The number on the right shows the total strength for that row. Both values are updated when the card is played. At the end of a round, the player... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm yawning. Oh, sorry. <coughs> At the end of a round, the player with the highest total strength wins. During your turn, you can pass by holding down space. Once you pass, you cannot play any more, uh, any more cards during that round. Your opponent can continue playing cards until he or she passes as well. You should pass when you are confident you can win with the units you already have in play. Or to let your opponent win and save your cards for the next round. End of round. A round ends once both players have passed. The player then compare the total strength of the units to determine the winner. All cards on the battlefield are discarded and both players' total strength is reset to zero. Okay. Combat. Nope. A big old siege weapon. Oh, let's just try it. Let me try it. And you play a siege weapon as well. So we have, we have a draw. A draw. Okay, plus one to all units in the row, excluding itself. So it's. Just try it. Hmm. Come on, just pass. Don't force me to throw up. Out all my weapons, uh, all all my cards. So don't use. Cl oh, I don't have. Okay. <clears throat> Two one. That's absolutely stupid. Come on, just let me win. It's the call, you man. Invested too much in this uh, one turn. <laughs> Do you really want to throw every single card in this one round? I don't think it's clever. The same counts for me as well, to be honest. I pass right now. He will just 
put out a two star or a two point card and we'll win and we both have no cards left anymore. He has only one siege card played. Probability is high that he has at least one siege card or that he will use siege card in the next round. So I will do this. Win this round inevitably. I'm still leading. Ui. He has a siege card. Or another melee card. Oh, damn it. This one costs me six points and him four points. That's absolutely stupid. I have to. Is it? Is it? Yeah, you know what? I'll pass this round. Maybe, just maybe, he will. Yes. He won this round, but he has only one card left. Okay. Life gems. The player who loses a round also loses a life gem. The game is over once the player has lost both life gems. Okay. But I have two cards left and he has only one card left. Let's see what you have. Okay, I won. Two. I've won this round. And I win. To be fair, this was not a good win. This was not a good uh, first round. The first round cost me all my cards, but okay. There's no shame in passing. And letting your opponent win around, sometimes it's better to save your cards for later. Each deck also features, also features its own heroes. Heroes are high value cards, immune to the effect of special cards. <clears throat> These powerful cards can turn the tide of battle. Acquire more powerful cards by completing certain quests or purchasing, purchasing them from vendors. Okay. You have a knack for this game? No, I don't. If you ever find yourself in Oxenfurt and wish to play a true master, ask for Stefan. A simple innkeep by trade, but a true maestro when it comes to Gwent. I'll remember that. Thanks. Okay, Gaunter Odim. Books and scrolls. Of course, once read, they are added to the books panel in the glossary. A ma miraculous guide to Gwent, uh, the tome you hold in your hands, commissioned by the most gracious Duke de Berry. Duke de Berry? I don't know. Shall make use of magic most arcane to display which Gwent card. Gwen cards are currently missing from your collection. You need to open it and repeat it and repeat in your mind how about the round of Gwent and the following shall appear. Okay, that's actually pretty cool that I have a, basically a overview of all my missing Gwent cards. So let's talk to Gaunter Odim. Yeah, cheeky ass bastard. Quest updates. When one of your quests is updated, a notification will appear in the left side of the screen. If you are not currently tracking the updated quest, you can press V to start tracking it. 
collect them all. Okay. Looking for a woman. <clears throat> <sighs> like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. That's all the specific. Two snapsies. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Who am I to turn down a schnapps? Fine, I'll have a drink. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Wengerberg. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. How do you know Yen? How do you know Yennefer? What a question. <coughs> Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. It's a Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. Recognize me from Master Dandelion's ballads too? To your health. What do you do? Who are you? A mangy vagrant. Gone to Rodim. At your service. Vagrant? That a profession now? Ah, once a merchant of mirrors. The madding crowd dubbed me Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask. Is this about love? Guessed it. It's love. I knew it at once. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An Ilf Guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble, and you'll be nearby to help. The contents of what you have read have been moved to the glossary. Yes, I... You already said that. You've earned a new car, that's my stash. You can store weapons, armor and junk in your stash for safekeeping confident. They will not be stolen or otherwise disappear. You can access your stash in a number of places throughout the world. Items stored in your stash in one location will be available in all other locations as well. Stash locations are always visible on the map. Look for the green chest icon. Do I have any access stuff to store? Crafting ingredients, alchemy ingredients. Nothing so far. Okay. <coughs> You've got a new Gwent card. <sighs> Gwent deck. Welcome to the Gwent deck builder. Gwent players use their own customized decks. Use this panel to manage your decks. Northern Realms, yes, Scoyatel. Each deck has one leader. Press X to see the leader's, to see the leader's ability. Uh, oh, God damn it! Press X to see the leaders available for the currently viewed faction. Francesca Finn de Bear, Finn de Bear, yeah. Okay. Press enter to choose the highlighted character card. Each leader has a unique, unique ability. Use it to turn the tide of battle in your favor. 
Digital cards that you do not own are locked. They will be available for you to use once you acquire them. Your collection. All the cards you own, which can be used with this faction, are shown here. Sultan. Hello, buddy. Cards and deck. <coughs> cards currently in this fractions, uh, fractions, factions deck appear here. None. Deck composition rules. A deck must consist of at least 12 unit cards. It can also contain up to 10 special cards. You can include more than 22 cards, uh, unit cards in the deck, but remember that doing so decreases the chances of drawing your most powerful cards. That's a uh, simple probability. That's true. Your deck is currently two unit cards short. Um, I think it's like most uh, more likely 22 unit cards short, but okay. You must move two unit cards from your collection to the faction's current deck. Uh, just give me. Yeah. Okay, double click. Do I have. No, 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 no. I think this tutorial was made for another um, starting deck. I have no Scoyatel cards at all. Ah, okay. Exited. <coughs> Exiting the deck builder. Now you can exit the deck builder by pressing escape. When the deck builder when in the deck builder before a match, press space to begin playing or escape to quit and forfeit the match. That should be okay. Foltest. King of Temeria. How can I X it was X, yes. <coughs> Let's pick an impenetrable fog card from your deck and play it instantly. Yes. This one... It's all full test. Okay, whatever. Mm, ask Nilf Guardians about Yennefer. Just... Get out of here. Done drinking? Fuck off! <laughs> Don't want your kind here. I don't want uh, to... Like Vesemir said, I don't want to draw too much attention on, on us, so... I won't stay long. Stay Wouldn't calm, want to boys. stay long anyway. Maybe not. And maybe you'll just stay forever. Six feet under. Mm, I tried it. Oh fuck. Hey, I didn't want to punch you. Did you just kill the chicken? Nice meeting you. You vicious beasts. One of them killed a chicken. Nice. And one of them knocked down the, the peasant. That, that's not nice. And no, Plötz is the German name. Roach, you are a vicious beast. Oh, just come on. Hey, yeah. Game saved. Your game state will be automatically saved when you 
reach certain milestones in the story. Still, you should save your progress early and often on your own. The world is full of predators, bloodthirsty, blood, bloodthirsty breasts. I just shouldn't talk today. Bloodthirsty beasts, bandit, and countless other dangers. Yeah. Good idea, just quick save. <coughs> With me. It's Durban now. D E R V A N. Not for you, Get off the road, kid. Seven is not what I want to mess with currently. On level one. Although the place of power is pretty interesting for me, but not. But I'm not uh, stupid. Let's have a look at the map. Let's go! Down there. Uh, my very own pathfinding is pretty bad today. Just as my speech. are still a bit um, unusable. Un 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 I'm not used to them, but yeah, whatever. Unusual compared to like others. But I'm going the wrong direction. I'm completely. Uh, what am I doing? Come on, Roach. Looking at the environment, which looks absolutely gorgeous, and don't use my brain. I have to go to those ruins over there to meet the commander of the Nymph Guardians. Nothing more, just a simple turn. right in the front of the entrance. Thank you. It's the Yondrain at Mekir. Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you. You look like trouble. Dead wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Captain Peter Sagwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. 
Guessing your captain's got work for me. This is the army, Nordling. There is no guessing. To the tower. Go. Okay, to the tower. Go. Craftsman. Craftsman can craft a variety of items for you for a small fee, of course. Blacksmiths forge weapon armors, make armor. You will find a crafting diagram. Take it to a craftsman of the right type and skill level to have them craft the item for you. I don't have any, I think, but maybe I have something to sell. Don't know any. So, out for a little walk, eh? Counting the Emperor's swords to lull you to sleep? <laughs> well, in the army, we've a place for nosy ramblers. The scaffold. And thick skulled quartermasters. They got a place. <laughs> uh, you're clearly skilled at banter. And haggling? You got a knack for that as well? Show me what you're peddling. Okay, what do you have? That's too high level for me. Drink, potions, tawny ore. So I could actually use this better silver sword if I use the woven hour. Chicken egg. Yeah. So long. How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it. And I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the Elderman and the Smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. True that. True that. Very perceptive of you. Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. Vatgarn. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? <clears throat> there is a griffin in the area. Slay it. And then I shall see what I can do. Why do you care about this griffin? Because I care about people. The beast has killed ten already, including a few of my men. To hunt it, I would need to mobilize the entire garrison, comb the woods, organize a batu. Simply impossible. Too big a hassle? No. Too high a risk. I cannot disperse my forces. Temeria's army we have crushed, but its common folk remain. Ready to answer a call to arms. So, as to this griffin, I can sit on my hands or hire a professional. Sounds good to it's me. It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the Vulpine Woods at first. I sent a patrol there, five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? A 
I'll need bait, a specific herb, buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this. But I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm -hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Need more information about this griffin. It's sex. Why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mislov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. Okay, bye. Tamira and Mislav. Thanks. Es soon the actor. Active objective. <clears throat> if your current quest has more than one objective, you can choose which objective is tracked by pressing the V. Uh, Okay, just get the herbs first and then no, then the get to know where we have to hunt. Enhancing weapons, use special grindstones to temporarily enhance your weapons. Doing so grants a bonus to the damage dealt by your weapons. Where is the grindstone? We have much work to do here. Quite a lot. Getting some alchemy ingredients is always a good idea, especially early in the game. Where is it? Here. Make way. Uh, once discovered signposts, once discovered signposts allow you to travel directly from one location to another. Walk up to a signpost and press E to fast travel. Oh! Fast travel destinations to travel to a destination. Use a mouse to select a point marked uh, signpost sign, and then double click on it. So where do I have to? Where I have to go? Here is the herbalist, and here will be the hunter. Just go to the sawmill. The signs look better than than I uh, remember them looking. over there. <coughs> Master. Although I think I wouldn't have needed roach because it's like 50 yards away. Ooh, you have quite some was mole yarrow and hellboard pedals. Just give me all of your stuff. Good. Blowball. Dwarven spirit is useful for alchemy as far as I remember. What do you have? Loot. Wolfsbane. Rib leaf. White myrtle. Uh, just loot everything. So, hand me the beggar tickets that... Red Bloom, well, well, one versed in herbs. Probably saying too much, but I know a bit. For instance, that beggar ticks poisonous. In large doses, small ones soothe pain and bring <coughs> forth pleasant dreams. Which is all I can hope to do for her.
Griffin do that to her? Delina. Yes. Attacked her at night. She was walking in the woods. At night? Through the woods? In wartime? Meeting a boy. The young, you know, do foolish things for love. Wounds are healing, but she will die. Blood's pooling in her skull. Nothing my Bruce can do to help. Remember, I don't know if it was a quest in The Witcher 1 where I helped a healer, a herbs lady, with some healing, or it was this quest, I'm not quite sure, but I, one of them ended terribly bad. Um, help or help? Yeah, whatever, why not? Could try to help her with one of my potions. Swallow can heal internal hemorrhages. But? Witcher's potions aren't for humans. She'll die as it is. Yes. A peaceful death soothed by your concoctions. If I give her Swallow and something goes wrong, the whole village will hear her screams. I understand. Do as you will. Looking for Buckthorn. Know if it grows anywhere around here? Hmm. Bottom of the river, where the channel's widest. But you do know that once out of the water... It'll stink worse than a weak old carcass. Counting on it. I'm hunting the griffin. Need the buckthorn for bait. I was thinking... A few years ago we had trouble, <coughs> drowners under the bridge. The whole village had to pitch in for a witcher. Who now can afford the bounty on a griffin's head? Captain Peter Sar... something something. Ah, good to know the Black One's looking out for our welfare. I think he's... Uh, looking out for your welfare or just trying to um, play nice to do psychological things. I think they order value order. Nilfgaard values one thing. Order. Griffin's disturbing that. It's gotta go. Yes. First I'll tend to the monsters, then to the folk. Not from here, are you? A lot of bitterness in you. Too much for someone who spent her life in a hut in the middle of nowhere. True. And you're in a hurry. Elsewise you'd not use bait, just wait for the Griffin to attack again. Believe we could have an interesting conversation. Maybe next time. So let's get the buckwheat. Buck buckwheat? No, was it? Buckthorn, not buckwheat. Brew dose of swallow. Should I do so? Let's get out of your hut and. I think swallow can be brewed while meditating. How do I meditate? Employee character meditation. To choose how long you will rest, double click on a time. Just for one hour. Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Griffins. Entries in the bestiary provide additional information about monsters, including tips and strategies for how best to fight them. Press escape to close the bestiary. I don't want to art to knock it the, down to the ground, I guess. Hybrid oil and grape shot bomb. So I want to meditate character quest world map inventory L. I just read alchemy somewhere. Here are your currently equipped items. That's obvious. Travel back. Here are your other items currently in your possession. This the inventory tabs. My stats of vitality and toxicity. Which okay. 
equipping items to equip an item, drag it from your back to an appropriate slot or double click on it. This tab shows crafting components and alchemy ingredients. Uh, quest items, other food and items for roach, oils, potions and bombs and weapons and armor. You can toggle between large and small item descriptions by pressing the middle mouse button. You can see how a given item will look on Garrel, just press X. Oh come on, inventory preview. Using the preview options you can see how items will look which you can which you cannot yet equip. Come on. To choose your, the order in which items will be shown, press F. Uh, to see your character statistics, hold C or press C to go to the statistics panel. You have a Witcher potion, but in order to use it, you must first equip them. The usable, drag the potion to one of the consumable, con consumable slots. Stamina regeneration. Okay, now you can use this potion during gameplay. Press R to activate the potion in the first slot or F to activate the potion in the second slot. Okay, I'm used to use F for my healing, so my swallow comes to F. This will be R. Okay. Okay. Alchemy. Good. Pinning formulae and diagrams. If you want to see a list of components or ingredients required for a given formula or diagram, when you enter a, the shop panel, select it and perform the pin action. Pinning formulae and diagrams. Select the crafting diagram or, or alchemy formula and pin it. A list of components. A list of components or ingredients needed to create that item will appear in the shop panel. This makes it easier to keep track of what you still need to acquire. I, I will just gather everything, so that's not too needed. What do I need for swallow? I need celandine and drowner brain. Okay. Just get some drowners on death's bed, that's not quick access menu. If you, have, if you have multiple items in your pockets, you can switch between them using middle mouse button space. Use middle mouse button to charge the bolts used with your crossbow. Okay. Oops. I didn't mean to do that. I'm just used to press Q for my menu from Fallout 76. I'm sorry. T is a whatever potion I just drank. Okay. Crafting books. No. no. Screw you and your tutorial. right here. Connect them all. Com nope. Main quests. Piece of the White Archer. Let's track this one. Find some Buckthorn. Yes. Always nice. The low ball, no, no, you're not the right one. <coughs> White myrtle petals, no. Horse is summoning to have your horse come to you. Press X. I know, but I want to go into the water and. Roach is not a seahorse. Hold C to dive or space to swim toward the surface. 
Oh wait, I, I don't have a... Hold on, I, I, I need to die to get this stuff. Your key, ma'am? No, not me key. Me pan. It's always sat there empty. This hurt. That is. Till the night afore the battle. A man arrived. Walked right in like for his own. He was standing at me window, peering at the goings on. He must have eyed me. Cause next I knew, there he was, coming my way. So I grabbed me pan. For protection, see? But he just asks all polite. Gran, got any birch bark by chance? Lilac berries or even a few coals? Nay, <coughs> says I. And you must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. But I see he ain't listening. Just staring at me pan like a magpie at a copper. Lend it to me, Gran. I'll give it back come morn. Baffled for what's he doing, frying in the dark. But I've got a soft heart, so I gave it to him. Interesting. What happened then? Afore dawn, another rode up to the hut. But come on, only the first fella left. Locked the door, hopped on his horse, and that were all I saw of him. And me pan. We're old, black with sort, not worth much, I suppose. But I've no other. Will you help me, dearie? Bring an old widow or a pan. I could never break down that door myself. And in truth, I'm afeard to go in any road. Such a stench wafting out. Me thinks the other fellow. Well, but he's lying there. Don't... Uh, this doesn't sound too unrealistic. I'll help you. Okay. Never taken on a pan contract. Fine, I'll go in, look around. You should wait here, just in case. The hut's door won't open. Use the witcher senses by holding left mouse button to see... Uh, right mouse button to see if there's anything you can... Destroying objects. Some objects can be destroyed, such as objects. Uh, such objects are marked with the the icon to destroy objects. To open up a path. Sorry. Face them and cast the art sign. You can also try hacking at them with your sword. But note that not everything can be destroyed in this manner. Another option is to. Toss a grape shot bomb at the object, but be careful not to get hurt by the explosion. So, all it is then. It's dark in here, okay. Can I turn on any candle or so? It is. Here's a candle. Can I? Yes. Good. Over here's a corpse. Another Explains candle. the stench. Finally, I can see something. 
always nice to be able to see. Dogs, 200 orange. Okay. Rotting flesh, no, not, not too delicious, but whatever. Marion po Ponyard, Cured Leather, Blunt Crossbow Bolt. Take diagrams to craftsmen with the proper skills to have the craft to have them craft the item for you. Well, well. Phosphorus, interesting. You are some kind of. Uh, his throat. He was garroted. And some old scars. Kind of soldier might have. What's that, dearie? Nothing. Nothing. Okay, cracked so, monocle. So Interesting. Monocle. But when I gab to myself, they say I'm going barmy. <laughs> true, Granny, true. Ah, the priceless frying pan. Hmm, scrubbed clean. Looks like the mystery man didn't need the pan so much as the soot off it to make ink write letters. Found the pan, have you? Documents, almost entirely burnt. A few pieces still legible. Burnt papers. And when you arrange to meet, you fucking show up. I did risking my life and the entire blasted operation and ended up standing there with my plowing cock in my hands, waiting for nothing. I thought the Nilfgaardian army was better organized than that, but you legible tell that to Tell that blessed Lord General of yours that me and my companions don't hold grudges, so we won't break off negotiations. But since our old plan's gone, tits up, this time we'll choose the time and place for the next meeting. Okay. Found the pawn, have you? I found the pawn. Here, your frying pan. Mine? But mine were black with soot. And I could see myself in this one if I wanted. But them years are past. It was the soot the man needed. He scraped it off to make ink. Must have had an urgent letter to write. Urgently burned some other documents too. And... And the other fellow? Dead. <coughs> Few boys and bury him outside the village. Deep, so the necrophages don't dig him up. And take my advice. Don't mention this to the North Guardians. Hang about! You've earned a token of thanks. Here, Sonny. For the road. What, what did you give me? Something to eat. Baked apple. Nice. Let's mount Roach and 